what up um it's been a really long time since i made a video blog and i just thought that my return from atlantic city slash the return of tumblr blackout 2010 was a very appropriate time sorry i feel like my music might be really loud but i don't want to get up and turn it off because it's all the way in the kitchen so i'm just gonna keep talking louder like this like you can't hear me and maybe you're deaf um so Danielle and I went to Atlantic City and we left yesterday morning. I went to her apartment and her boyfriend Kyle was visiting her so he decided that he would be a really awesome boyfriend and drive us all the way to Danielle's house where her car was so we didn't have to take the train from Penn Station all the way to New Jersey then transfer and then get on the train to go to Long Island to get to the train station to get to Danielle's house to get to Danielle's car so we could drive to Atlantic City. So obviously as you can tell it is like prime that Kyle decided that he would drive us. And it was fun because Kyle's cool and I like driving around Manhattan because it's really pretty and I never get to ride in a car. So obviously it made Danielle and I like the most amazing mix ever to listen. It was like 3.7 hours which was almost an entire round trip which was really cool. And we just like played Kesha and Katy Perry and like, I don't know. The thing is like when you're in New York, you never get to be in a car. So when you like get to road trip somewhere, even though it was like two and a half hours to Atlantic City, like we just got so stoked. It was awesome. And we just had so much fun. It was just the two of us and it was really nice to just like hang out in the car and just like talk and rock out and then um, we stayed at the Borgata, which is this giant, like, shiny gold hotel in Atlantic City. And there's a casino and all these restaurants. And it was just so fun. Like, we got there, and our room was on the 30th floor. And it overlooked the ocean, which was so cool. And um, then we just, like, went and explored. And we went swimming. And we went in the hot tub. And then I took a shower. And, okay, I know that's such a random fact to share, but seriously... This is the best shower I've ever had in my entire life. Like, if there was one thing I could have for Christmas, it would be this shower from this hotel. It was, like, giant. It, like, had a door that opened. It was, like, huge. Like, seriously, like, giant. Like, ten people could have gone in it. And, like, you could set the shower to a specific temperature. And then, like, it had all these different, like, amounts of pressure for the water to come out. And it was, like, the best shower of my life. And then... We had dinner reservations at Wolfgang Puck, and it was such a nice restaurant. And, like, okay, I can already tell this is going to get so long, so I'm really sorry. If you're in a hurry, like, you should just shut this off, because I'm about to talk about food. And anyone that knows me knows I can talk for, like, five years about food, because I just love food. So we, like, get all dressed up, and first of all, everyone was staring at us, because the hotel was just filled with people, like, over the age of 60. Like, we were the youngest people that we saw the whole time we were there. And so, like, all the creepers were totally creeping because Danielle and I looked so fine. And it got way weird way fast. But the restaurant was, like, good because everyone was, like, kind of dressed up and not, like, having walkers and wheelchairs and, like, sitting in front of slot machines. And we had red olive bread. We had a blackberry margarita, which was, like, the best drink I've ever tasted in my entire life. Um, then I had spaghetti with wild mushrooms which was so good, but the best part, Danielle and I, we like love dessert. Like I just can't, like, I can't even like speak about dessert because I just love dessert so much. And I had a chocolate souffle. I've never had a souffle before. Can I just tell you, I can eat souffle for the rest of my life. Like this chocolate souffle, souffle was like the best thing I've ever tasted. I can't even describe it. Like everybody needs to leave right now and go find a chocolate souffle because it was so perfect and it was so yummy. It was like dark and chocolate and rich, but it was like light and airy. It was like eating chocolate velvety air with powdered sugar on top and then hazelnut ice cream. And it was the creamiest ice cream I've ever tasted. And it had real hazelnuts in it. And then Danielle had this brownie tart, which was like a pie crust with like brownie. And then the inside it was like gooey, liquidy, like caramel and brownie. Oh, it was so good. We ate so much that the woman sitting next to us was like, those are some really big desserts. And we were like, they are. Like, what the, f I was just so pissed, but I didn't even care because it was so good. And I was just like, yeah, you wish you were eating this chocolate souffle right now after you just ate like 
a giant meal and had the most amazing drink ever. So then Danielle and I went back up to the room because she was feeling uncomfortable about the creepers and she wanted to change. And we ended up having like a dance party to Kesha for like 15 minutes and it was really funny. And we went and played the slot machines and I learned that I don't like gambling because it's not fun and I don't understand it not even slot machines and we didn't win anything well we like kind of did but then we like played it all because we just like didn't know what was happening so that was the least fun part about the whole trip and then we like went to this bar um in the hotel and we were just gonna have like another drink and then go to bed and we like set my drink down at a table and this giant belligerent woman knocked into the table and she like Excuse. She spilled some of my drink, but not much. Like, I was like, whatever, I don't care. I was, like, already kind of buzzed. And I was having, like, a good time. And she was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. And she was seriously, like, so wasted. And I was embarrassed because she was probably, like, 45. And she was like, let me buy you a drink. Let me buy you guys a drink. And we were like, no, it's okay, it's okay. And she, like, called the waitress over, and she was like, I'm buying them a drink. And Danielle goes, well, I guess we'll each do a shot of Patron. I'm like, Danielle, I'm going to kill you, like, Tequila makes me insane, and we already have margaritas at dinner. And the lady comes, and she brought us each two shots of Patron. So this woman bought us four shots of Patron, basically. And after that, it was just like, we were so full, and we were so tired. Like, I wish I could say that we were out until, like, 4 o'clock in the morning, like, having such a good time. But literally, after we did those shots, we were so full from eating so much food, and that we just like were like let's go upstairs and we went upstairs and we went to bed and we watched entertainment tonight until we like fell asleep and then we woke up at like eight o'clock this morning and we just like drove home and we took the train home and now i'm back but it was like the best mini vacay ever like seriously 48 hours just like out of the city what's up like it was so great and i came home and my mom knit me this scarf and she mailed it to me which is so funny because it's freaking freezing outside and I was just saying I need a scarf and my new leggings came and they're amazing and I'm wearing them but that would be weird if I showed you my leggings and I'm home alone which is kind of nice and I'm just like chilling about to watch some skins on Netflix and I got my Starbucks which you can tell because I'm talking like a mile a minute and you probably can't even understand me but that's what I wanted to say um, in 7 minutes and 38 seconds so I hope you really enjoyed this talk in which I basically just told you about Atlantic City and that's all I really have to say. I'm sad Tumblr was down and you guys didn't get to like see what was up, but you can... Tumblr's back now, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm really tired. I'm exhausted from all the travel. And it's been eight minutes, so I'm going to let you go. Okay, goodbye!